everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Bleach Lasso with me, looking very bulky today, thanks to this amazing armor that I have, the Brilliant Earth armor, which kind of keeps me alive, all things considered. But yeah, we're back in the world of Bleach, by myself, because this way I can actually get some stuff done. Because <laughs> yeah, um, Enmo's, Enmo's good at disrupting, and Enmo's good at disrupting the flow of things. I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing, I enjoy having people on stuff, it's just Enmo's a bit nuts. You know, his bubble gun obsession is just, it makes him a little bit nuts. It's, 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 it's just a little thing. But no, anyway, we're back, and I'm going to quickly switch out of this armor, because, hold on, where's a good one? There it is. I'm going to go and leave this lying there, because being bulky is nice, but I'd rather take it off. Right, so anyway, um, between episodes, I went around and stuff. I also checked comments, and I got a few interesting ideas brought up to me. I got a few interesting ideas flagged to me. So, one was um, about using summoning arts to summon hollows. Now, obviously, you'd have to kill a bunch of hollows in order to do that. And if it worked, obviously, you wouldn't get Reishi from it. But could it fill up your sword? You know, like, get the thing up. Because I'm about 50 right now. I need, like, another 100. Then I can start getting the light in. Um, and, yeah, it may work. I've never tried it. And I'm not going to. Because I, I was thinking about trying. And then I remembered one very crucial detail. The fact is, is that in order to use the summoning art, you have to kill, like, 20-odd of the things. And... Yeah, within the time I did that, my sword would be full anyway, so... <laughs> and then after that, I'd have a summoning art that I don't need. And I wouldn't be able to use it anymore because I wouldn't be able to fill my sword up anymore because I'd need to then move on to the other element, otherwise it'd become a pure darkness sword. So yeah, it's an interesting idea, and it's one that I might try maybe in the future when I'm like... I, once I have like a bunch of hollow baits just for a bit of fun, but... Um, uh, yeah, for the now, for filling my sword, I don't think we need it. Uh, maybe, if, maybe it may help Demon, possibly, if we try it later on. Right, the other thing I got flagged to me, um, I got brought up to me, it got mentioned in the comments, and I'm an idiot, by the way, for not remembering this. There's this handy little plant out in the desert. It's called a cinder. When you break it, you get blaze powder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I probably walked past them as well. But yeah, basically, did I, where did I put them? I went, went into the desert nearby, uh, between like here and the ground portal to the nether, and I grabbed some. So, hold on. TV, don't turn off. So, yeah, I killed six of the plants. By killing them, I just smashed them. And, yeah, I got six blaze powder. So, yeah. Boom. <laughs> For so long, I've been trying to tell her, I've just been trying to go through the nether. Very dangerous place. Very difficult place because of all the mods and stuff and the fact that I'm quite weak. Um, all for blaze powder. Didn't need it. Could have just went to a desert and got some all along. Right, well, anyway, now we've got this thing. So, what can I do with this? I can build an inter transport. I can build an astral barrier. I don't know what that is. Uh, but that's the thing we want here. This is the thing we want. The advanced enchanting table. This is our prize. Also, though, is there... Is there, is there, is there, is there... Golden... Yeah, golden lassos are in this. We should build some of them too, actually. That actually would be really handy. Because I've also discovered, off playing Chamber of Iris, I've discovered a thing that's very cool as well. The fact that you can... Um, one, two, three, four. Um, the fact that using breeding spells, they're actually really, really good for um, trading. Because if you have a, like an animal farm, breeding's really, really easy. So that's the thing I may try and get into. I may try and capture some animals and try and make a small farm. And by that, I mean, I'm going to make, like, a chicken farm. It's going to be, like, one block by one block because I'm cruel like that. And, yeah, we might try um, getting some chickens together for that. Hold on, let's just all the way around. Or maybe it was it. Maybe it's because I need the ender pearls to be in the middle. Never mind, it was the other way around anyway. Right, boop and boop. Right, and we need their enchant table. We, don't ha we haven't placed it down yet. Okay, our enchant tables are here. So, finally, after all this time, I'm going to get this done. So... We need four gold, two obsidian, and a book and quill. So we should have all of that. So four gold, two obsidian. I actually do have enough, surprisingly. And a book and quill. We'll have that. Oh, yeah, I've also got a bunch of Ryatsu because I went and killed a bunch of hollows off camera. Just I, It was basically nighttime when I logged on a little bit earlier, and I just saw a bunch of hollows pop up in the map, and I thought, well, I'll go slaughter them. I don't think I, I never killed any stalkers, though. That was sad. I killed, like, a couple of... A couple of blazes, a couple of... There was a few spiders and there was a few snakes. I still haven't seen any golems, surprisingly. Then also getting out of the nether, because that's where we ended up at Enmo. It wasn't very eventful, because I tried to stay, like, avoid... I just tried to avoid everything <laughs> as best I could. And I ended up killing one blaze on my way out. That was a bit... That was a little eventful thing on there. So, yeah, that's... That's where we've ended up here now. So, wait, what am I missing? 
I don't say enchant table, that says something like this. There we go. Boop. Advanced enchant table. This thing's very good. It's, it's the main reason why I've been trying not to die and save all my levels and whatnot. Because now I can, like, shove protection in this. I can repair my armor. So this is good because it means... Boop. Can I, like, can I remove... I can't put protection on this because of the bloody... Damn it. Um, put protection on. Repair. Even just having protection on it's just worth it just saying get the repair. Just the extra one level is brilliant. Also, oh god, I'm doing this all wrong. I'm doing this all wrong. I'm doing this all wrong. All right, we need to make a journal. Because I've been, I've been like, in the Chamber of Iris, I've been doing a lot of grinding and stuff. Um, with levels and with enchant levels and stuff like that. And I figured out that you're better off making a journal. Um, and you're better off storing your higher levels. No, never mind. We can't make a journal. Son of a bitch. Pure essence is required. That stuff's quite difficult to get a hold of, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Where is where is our essence thing? I forgot one position about four is very tricky for the essence. Where's pure essence? Base essence, high essence, pure essence. Pure essence requires ender essence, life essence, a high essence core, a diamond, and a base essence core. Base essence core requires the four elements. So that's a thing. Then if it oh that go damn it! Back, there we go. And then a high essence core requires the other four. Basically, you need to have one of every essence to do this. That, that's pretty much what it is. You need to have one of every, all ten essence. In order to make one, that's, uh, that's so you get pure essence, which it makes sense. Having one for a journal, though, I don't agree with. Right, now that we've got that out of the way, we can put fortune on this thing. No, we can't. Okay, wait, hold on, we need to put a bookshelf down first. But yeah, now I can enchant my stuff. I can repair my armor, so I don't have to worry about that so much. And most of all, I can now put looting on a diamond sword, so when I kill the hollows that aren't the ones I need, I'll have a better chance of getting a mask. Then with the mask, I'll have a better... Oh, after I get the mask, I'll be able to make hollow bait. And yeah, I think you all know where I'm going from there. Plan basically is, could I enchant moonlight? That was an interesting thought. It's a very interesting thought. If I enchanted moonlight, would that be, would that be quite good? I feel like that would be quite good. Or should I just get a diamond? I might try enchanting Moonlight just to see how it goes. Because I don't know. Like, I think Moonlight's got like an added defense bonus or something, doesn't it? Or something. I don't know. I think it's got something. Right. Okay. Where? where, 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 where what am I looking for? I'm looking for... I'm also storing this. I'm looking for wood. It's in this chest. And boop. Boop. And we make a few more of these. There we are. I think, I think five, I think, yeah, I think six no bookshelves about enough. So, right, okay, I need to stick this somewhere. I never planned this. It's like a okay, case so I looked at my comments and I just saw the comment. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm an idiot. And then literally ran over here, or ran out there to the desert and just went and got the thing that I needed. That was it. There was nothing more to it, really. Uh, also, the way I built this place is really, really awkward. All right, hold on. Yep, armor stands, you're going down. You can get moved somewhere else. Bookshelves, you're going in. So, one, two, three, four. Probably should put another one down, but never mind. All right, advanced enchant table. Then one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go, that's all of them. We're at level 42, beautiful. So now, Moonlight. Oh, we can enchant it. Awesome, right, okay, this works very well for me then. So with that, I can put looting three on. And sharpness. Boop. And then most importantly of all, I can put a... Right, hold on. Put efficiency one on first. Then repair. Then put fortune. I need 20 levels. Damn, it was so close. Right, okay. So, okay. Moonlight's... Moonlight's pretty buff at this point. Yeah, when I block, I get a shield up. That's better. I feel like that's a worthwhile sword. So, yeah. This is basically... Instead of using the Shinai as much, I'm going to use that. Now, I'll keep using my Zambak tool for killing... Everything that requires my Zambak tool, like the the stalker halls, and eventually the bat halls as well. So it's just our night time. So hopefully that means we'll actually get some action about now. Yeah, let's shove the armor like this. This will work. Boop, boop, boop. That's that's everything, right? Yeah, and we can repair that armor now. Oh, this works so well. Right, let's go see if we can test the sword out. Because it's technically going to be stronger than our. Hold on, I can do this. There we go. Right, we got any we got any baddies? Any baddies at all? I feel like we should have some baddies. If we don't, it could mean that I possibly have traveled so much that I really need to restart the server. No, I just no. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. We get stuff. 
No, I think literally nothing is spawning. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart the server. <laughs> the spawn rates have died. All right, one second. All right, freshly loaded server, and yeah, we're working now. So we've got all the baddies spawning in. Also, I should probably get my get my hard already. Where is it? Frostbite. Frostbite will do. Yeah, this is a good one to use. Slow the enemy down. Oi! I need to be careful, actually, because I've discovered hollows can indeed um, get, put effects on you. Eh! There we go. And I got six. So normally I don't get about four. I got six because I've got like three on. That, this is the power of this blade now. <laughs> this is worth it. It was worth it. Hold on. Now we get sharpness three on this. No, I got sharpness five. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's heavy powerful now. This is good. This is very, very good. Ah, anyway, right, so while we go out and we go and stalk about for stalkers and other bad things, also speaking of stalkers, let's have that sword on the ready, so in case I do spot a, spot a stalker. Um, right, last time I did question of the day, and I did the question of what's a fight you like to see Captain Hitsugaya in? And naturally everyone responded with mostly ice people, so, which I can I can agree with, to be fair. Um, so I think Grey Fullbuster was one that mentioned quite a bit, which, don't get me wrong, that would actually be really interesting, especially Late Grey, who's got, um, the hell was that noise? Oh, it's a meteor dropping. Um, great full buster. Late game, he's got, um, his devil's there. So ice would be really, really not work against him at all. At least I think it would. It's really hard to say because Fairy Tail can't really make its mind up well or ice work. Because he fights against an ice mage and ice mage uses ice attacks on him. I don't know. Um, where is that? Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi there. I was going to shoot you a little bit. Um, but yeah, that doesn't really matter though because Captain Hits guy's got more than just that. He's got, um, he's got Haro. So he can use all the hard in the world against Grey. He's got his sword. He can just cut Grey. <laughs> so I still think that would be quite a cool fight. Plus, you know, the Hodimaru, um, Hyorimaru's, um, oh, oh, uh, there's a stalker. Um, Hyorimaru's final Bankai thing is super, super awesome to actually get used. So yeah, I, I can still see that being a really good fight. Um, I'm trying to think what the other ones mentioned were. That was the mo one I've seen the most. It was one I, th I thought really interesting. Just because Grey also used, like, he uses ice make magic, so he could make swords. He could make swords, he could use it to fight, and it would be really freaking awesome. Ah! Get lost. Oh, I forgot, you don't dodge these, do you? That's, that's really sad for you. It's really sad that you're a bit stupid. Um, but yeah. As for me personally, I probably actually would still go with, um... With Grey. If not, maybe is death from Kill Kill? Just because she she was so freaking cruel, and I I, I don't think she would she, like she's one of those people. She doesn't really view a person by like their looks and stuff. She literally just if a person's strong, she'll respect them in that way. And you know she's looks for strong opponents, and on top of that, she can kind of freeze time. So yeah, I feel like Toshi would still have his work cut out for him because she's like superhuman and insanely strong. So yeah, I think that'd be quite cool. Um, also, what the hell are those symbols? What the hell? Hello! Oh, you're evil mages! Oh, that's a shame. I'm gonna murder you now. You didn't have to be like that. She could have just been good and just submitted to my whims, but never mind. Um, right. Now let's go for our new question today, and I think the new question we'll go for is, what is a fight you'd like to see involving Yoroichi? Uh, let's go with that one. Oh, wait, hold on. I normally do, like, for crossovers... Yeah, it's not normally not just crossovers. Who's this person in Bleach I'd like to see hits a guy fight against? Um... Part of me wants to say Grimjow, just just because he never got a fight against them. And hits the guy. I can never tell with hits the guy if he's actually really strong captain or if he's not. Like I get the idea that he's supposed to be like one of those ones that's going to mature and get really strong as he goes. Then a lot of times, then he fights against um Espada number three. Now Espada number three is the third strongest, so she's stronger than Grimjow. But she only he only kept up with her because um she used water, and water can't work on hits the guy because he can freeze it. So. I don't know, it's probably listen. I think Grand have an interesting opponent for him. I just don't I don't know, I think that just would be. Anyway. I mean yeah, let's go with uh what's the fight you'd like to see involving Yoruichi. Also, I need to run inside my house quickly because my dog's just ran in my room and yeah, he's decided to plant himself on top of my bed and leave my door away to the walls. The worst bit is is that oh god. The worst bit is when my dog comes in, it's he only ever enters my room when he wants something. So like if he comes up here it means he's looking for something. Looking at the time, it's like he's got 30 minutes until we normally feed him. So that's what he's here for. Good job, Zach. It's actually his birthday yesterday. Oh, then again, I'm recording this on Saturday. It was, his, it was my dog's birthday on the 1st. And I was actually really sad that I forgot it was on the 1st. I thought it was at the end of February. Because um, I don't know, I always just thought that. But now, Mum looked at his birth certificate thing that he got, we got when we got him from the cat and dog home. And 
That was born the first, and I got really sad because I thought I could have bought you a party hat and took a nice picture of you to remember this day, but never mind. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, so there are no more hollows about. This is a problem. Well, it's not a problem, but it's rather annoying. Also, I'm killing all the creepers I see because I want gunpowder. Because they're really good for... For, 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 for... It's a potion. The mana potion, that's it. Uh, I don't think we're seeing any more right now. But look, I got uh, three hollows, I got 16 Ratsu. That's pretty damn good. That's, like, really damn good. Also, if I see any chickens, I'm going to go kill them, too. Also, I'm going to kill you, actually. Hold on. Hey, you're a good person to kill. Hold on, take this off. That one. Um, all right. Hello, Shimigami. We're just going to... Eh. 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 Die! Oh, it's easier when you've got a Quincy here to just shoot them. Quincy's do tons of damage. Hello, you did no damage to me. My Earth Armor. I've got looting on, so I get even more react. So I got like eight from that. That was beautiful. Right, I need to find chickens. That's the thing. I need to go find chickens. I need to make a farm. Then I'm going to make a breeding ability. I don't know what it's going to be, though. Now I think about it. That's a problem. What would I call a breeding? A mass breeding um, ability. I, I don't know what that would be. Like, Pado, Biakudo, Kido. I, I don't freaking know. I, I don't know. I have no idea what that'd be. I can't exactly call it a Zambak to effect. <laughs> Not a clue. All right, we need to come up with a name for a breeding huddle. Let's see if people can be creative with this. What can I call it and what should it be? Should it be Kiado? No, actually, Kiado's just healing, isn't it? Um, Bakudo or um, Hoddle? Which one should it be and what number and what name? Because I'm going to create a mass breeding spell. Just because they're really, really good for getting experience. And they're really, really good for lagging a server out, but we're not worried about that bit. No, if you create a ton of chickens in a spot and you use it constantly, you can, like, level up your Ars Magica for one thing. Like, insanely. It's a brilliant way of leveling up because you have a bunch of them and you get a bunch of experience for it, and it's great. Then, aside from that factor, it also means that when you're done with them, you can kill them all at once with a mass murder spell, and with that, your armor will get a bunch of experience. Like, my armor's not too, too great for experience. But yeah, I can, I can mass murder them all. Got a ton of experience for doing that. And... Yeah, it's, it's what I've been doing on Chamber of Virus lately. I've been like, massive, I'm, I'm actually probably going to record a video just showing it off. Because I, I, like, I get told, I had over 200 chickens in one spot at one point. And basically, they were wondering why everything was lagging. Now, it wasn't actually chickens' fault. It was actually because the bugs were going insane. But the ha anytime people get near my house, I'm guessing, they would have started frame dropping or getting a bit laggy because all the chickens are trying to escape. Um, but to be fair, I only increased the numbers to that level just recently. Also, hold on. While we're floating around, can I... Can I... Can I let's go to that dungeon. Okay, this isn't a dungeon I want to be at. And I'm going to teleport to the dungeons I've got just to see if I can find... Oh, this is one interesting. Oh, wasn't there a lucky block around here that I never opened? Because I was going to wait for on camera to do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was. Oh, there it is. Alright, so we're going to use huddle number two. To break it, because I don't trust it from this distance. There we go, Mr. Rainbow. I found if you use Hadlow to break them, you're less likely to die as a result. So I, I tend to do that now. Also, let's just ditch that and grab that. I'm pretty sure at this point, I could probably make a Shimigami outfit. I could probably make my entire Shimigami outfit at this point. I reckon I could. I might try, go I might try and go back and do that quickly if I can't find a freaking chicken. <laughs> I just need two chicken. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to get the chicken. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. One. I need one more. One more and I can start the breeding process. And we're in the right biome. Well, chickens spawn like every biome. But still, normally you don't see one chicken on its own. Normally if you find one chicken, there's like a million other chickens floating around somewhere. So come on, where's the other cluster of the chickens? I mean, I've ran through this area before. There's a chicken. Alright, we're good. We're sorted. We're sorted. We're going to head back now and we're going to see if I can. We're going to see if we can actually gear ourselves up with like a Shimigami. I don't know if I'm going to wear the armor all the time. But you know, I might as well actually... Oh, let's take the mask off. I like the mask at this point because the mask, I can literally maintain it. Because I've got that much um, Ryatsu. I've got that much spiritual energy. I keep saying Ryatsu and spiritual energy. I keep getting them mixed up. Now, I've got like that much spiritual energy at this point that it regens a bit as fast as it goes away. So, then when I start killing things with like my Shinai and stuff, it levels up. Like, it's 350 at this point. That's pretty good. Right, okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? We've got a stack and a half. I, I feel like that's enough. So, yeah, we're going to go for this. So, let's grab all that. And let's click G. And all right, soul cloth. So we need to make tons and tons of soul cloth, which is a lot. Also, where's the hollow base? Now I think about it. Hold on. Look at that mask. Hollow base is four box and one masher. Okay, I need one mask then. I need one mask so I can get 
Um, a thingy, a hollow. There's a wolf. Hold on. I saw a wolf. We must get it. We need to get the wolf. Wolves are good because there's a chance it will drop a mask and I don't have to give up my good mask for that. So let's just put our mask back on. It's always good having the speed boost. Right, Wolfie. You're around here somewhere, you sod. He's down below. Okay, we're going to break down then. We're going to break down until we find him. Oh. Where are you, Wolf? Mr. Wolf? Ah! Da, 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 da. All right, well, you know what? I've got earth armor on and you've not. And I did not get a mask. Damn it. I always wish I do. Oh, well. Back home. Try again next time. Um, home. Oh. Right. So for this to work, we're going to need to make a couple of blocks. Then we're going to need to do that. Okay, I've severely underestimated how much reactor we're going to need for this. Oh. All right, I can make the shoes. And that's a stack. Alright, I've severely underestimated how much this is going to cost. Um, Alright, let's calculate that. So that was like a stack. No, hold on. That was... You need... Per piece of soul cloth, you need 9 plus 8. So 17 per soul cloth. So that's... In total for all the things, you're going to need 4 for the boots. Um, 8 for the chest, that's 12. Plus 5 for the helmet, that's 17. Plus 7 for the leggings, so that's 24. So you need 24 bits of soul cloth. Times 17, that's... Well, times 10 is 240. Times 5 is 120. And times 2 is 48. So 240, 360, uh, 408. We need, we need 408 bits of Riatsu. Okay, we're nowhere near ready. <laughs> Let's just put this back in the chest and I'll continue killing holes as we go then. Alright, that was wishful thinking. No, I don't know why I thought it took a lot less than that. I'm a fool. You know what, it's fine. When we get Moonlight, Moonlight will get us there a lot quicker. So it's all, it's all good in the hood, really, when you think about it. All I need to do is find more holes. So ideally, what we want is to get hollow bait now. So all I need now is a hollow mask and we're done. Also, no, don't put that in there. It's a terrible place to put that. Um... So where's the best place to get hollows, I wonder? I mean, okay, I'm I'm probably going to try this. I'm probably going to go really, really far away and create another nether portal to try and get a better spot in the nether because the one we're in right now has got so many structures, but it's not like any land to walk on. So it's going to work for Minos Grandi to spawn or really anything else to spawn. So I'm probably going to go really far away and do that at some point or other. Although, let me know in the comments down below. Should I sacrifice my last hollow mask to make the... um? To make a hollow bait on the hopes that I'll get another hollow mask when I'm fighting them. Obviously, I'm going to wait until I've got others on with me before I release the hollow bait. Because hollow baits can be quite scary. <laughs> Is there a lot of the bigger holes start spawning down? But yeah, no. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Should I sacrifice the last hollow mask to do that? And then also, we've got to think about the new hado we're going to do. Or hado slash bakura. What should it be for mass breeding? Let us know in the comment section down below. Then the question of the day. What's the fact like to see Yorobichi involved in? Because yeah, I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> I think I need to go far away and prepare a new Nella portal so I can try and get a better spawn point. So I'll probably try and do that. And I'm go probably going to start setting up a farm so I can start leveling up my R's magic a bit. But yeah. Thank you to the people, to the person specifically, who went and mentioned about the cinder plants. I completely forgot about them. I knew of their existence, but they completely slipped my mind in this series. I don't know why. Like, I'm, I'm even pretty sure I probably have broken them in other series and never thought about doing it in here. I don't know why. I just completely forgot about it. But yeah, it means we don't have to go and tear through the nether to look for a fortress anymore. Now we just need to go through the nether to find Minos Grande and any other hollows that spawn. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. But yeah, anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed the show. And I'll see you next time for more Bleach Lost Soul, where hopefully I should have things set up then. So we can like, well, depending on you guys, next time if I've got people on, we'll do the hollow bait. If that's what you think I should do that. If not, I'll set things up so that I can go hollow hunting, possibly in the nether, like in a better spawn. I'll go and check it beforehand so we're not just randomly jumping through. And I'll set things up better so I've got a bit more things to kill. So we'll do, we'll do that. We see you there. I'll be training and trying to get the uh, last bits I need and getting more reatsu. Or we'll do a hollow bait with people. Or by my... I don't know if I want to do it by myself. I really don't want to do it by myself. I hope people are with me. If not, I'll, do, I'll just chance it. But yeah, well, that's all for next time. So thank you very much for watching. See you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.